Uh, this vehicle is the SU-152. This is a Russian Tier 7 tank destroyer. The map is El Halut. I am going to get two kills, 3,200 damage, and I'm going to get the Mark of Excellence. Uh, you'll notice that I put on this crazy camo. I really don't remember uh, which camo this is. I try to come down here as fast as I can. It looks like this one I took the easy way down. Looks like Wargaming Fest 2019. Wow, nailed him for 398. The first thing I usually do is, uh, and I set him on fire, is I usually go for these vehicles over here, but because we had something going on, you see they're going after me. Because we had something going on, I decided to swing right. Got him. 431 on the Leo. So what's interesting about this game is I haven't played this vehicle in many years. Possibly four or five years. So I'm working on getting the gun marks. Pulled it out, put the camo on, played one game. Not only did I get the mark of excellence, but I got it at 72%. That means... That the last time I played it, it was under 65%. And this game, it went up to 72 So I got a minimum of a 7% increase from one game. And it was really only kind of a mediocre game. 3,200 damage. I mean, that's a good game for Tier 7. And I happen to be an amazing player. Very amazing. They usually don't come out. I'm not saying that they won't ever, but in general, they won't crest over because they know they'll get nailed. They'll get some poppers in the face. It is a beautiful tank. I enjoy playing it. You know what? I wonder if this is one where... There was one vehicle where I brought it out and it had the wrong gun. You see how the average penetration is 175? I think this might be the stock gun. Because I remember thinking, you know, it doesn't seem like it penetrates that well. 175 sounds kind of low for a tank destroyer for tier 7. It should be like 230 or something. So I think I not only um, got the mark of excellence, but with the stock gun. That's how fucking amazing I am. I've blown my own mind. One great thing about this position is you only really got to move a little bit and then a lot more. And you can help your team out. See all the team that are running away like chickens over there? I'm talking about uh, those girls over there. This is probably one of the best camos in the game. Although I wish I had the dragon camo. Uh. I remember that one. Beautiful. I didn't get the shot, though. Still got a lot of damage to do. Okay, so going down to the hill allows me to get that super chat. He can still be safe, but he's a little bit more vulnerable if I make it to the hill. Especially if I go over to the other side. There is like a ridge that does protect him on his hill if I make it to the bigger hill. Yeah, it looks like that heavy tank is going to stop me from getting there. I did get up to 1,700 damage. See, there's a vehicle behind me. You notice that? E28HTC. Looks like I might miss him. 
my team is about to swarm on them. Maybe I could get Ah, uh, maybe I screwed it up. Or maybe I will get them. Three eighty seven, that's pretty good. We're seven eleven. Oh, uh, super champy, super champy, bye bye. Up to 2,500 damage. It looks like there is uh, an SPG out there. I'll probably mark on the minimap where he is. Nobody ever does. I does. One of the great things that happened is we caught the super Hellcat who's trying to sneak up on. What do you think is going to happen? Nailed him for 395. I'm up to 2,800 damage. I'm guessing I'm going to get one more good shot in this game. And that was probably it. You know what? I seem to recall that I flubbed the remaining shots on the heavy tank. or I, w I didn't accurately gauge exactly where he was. When I was thinking in my mind, my imaginary uh, vision of where he was, I... I saw him in a different location so oh there's no way he can hit me no way he can hit me twice the no way he can hit me three times uh it was my fault for not taking a better look okay that's the game that's the su 152 i got two kills 3200 damage and a mark of excellence